The goal of this pro class is to introduce you to some of our hardwired HID retrofit kit options. What do I mean by a hardwired HID retrofit kit? So you're very familiar with a lot of our light efficient design screw-in lamps that would replace an HID lamp. We have so many different options, whether it be a post top or a shoe box, a high bay, a low bay, parking garage. We have so many different options of these lamps. And these are a great, great solution. We have now control options that are available with sensors that plug into the high bay and the shoe box. So we're taking lamps to a whole nother level. But if you're looking for additional maintenance savings and additional rebate savings over and above what you get from a light efficient design lamp, well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. So many of you have probably seen a 1,000 watt HID lamp, but here it is. And here's the socket that it's screwed into. A lot of times, these ceramic sockets are old and tired and weathered. They could be 20, 30. I recently saw a project where the sockets were over 50 years old. This ceramic can become brittle. So this is a great reason to recommend some of these hardwired HID retrofit kits as opposed to a screw-in lamp because you're going to get rid of that socket, get rid of that maintenance headache. In addition to that, usually these HID retrofit kits are incentivized by the utility more like a new fixture than a lamp. So oftentimes those rebate dollars are so much higher when you look at one of these retrofit kits versus our screw-in lamps. So let's take a look at the options that we have on the table here. Over on this side, we have our post-top retrofit kits. And over on this side, we have our LED block, which is our uh, block format of retrofit kit. This style retrofit kit is designed to retrofit post-top style fixtures. So we have a few different lumen packages. And if I pull a unit here, you can see that some of the interesting features are the optics that are built in on top of each LED. And those are designed to direct most of the light to the ground. It's very wasteful in an acorn fixture, for example, if you're just flooding the top of that fixture with light because your pedestrians are under the fixture. So the lenses on this unit are designed to take the light from the LEDs and throw it down to the ground as efficiently as possible. You'll also notice a really, really versatile bracket that comes standard on the bottom of this kit. This X brace down below with tabs that can easily snap off means that you can remove that existing HID socket and mount this in its place. And no matter what type of fixture you're going into, you're always going to be able to easily find a bolt location without having to put new screws into that metal fixture. You'll also see that there's adjustability here on this bracket arm. So the screws come out. And if you want to optimize the location of your light engine inside that fixture to really hit the optics of that old fixture so that the light comes out as efficiently as possible, you can pull these screws out, move this LED head up and down on the bracket to get the most optimal position possible. The LED SS EXT, which is what we call our post top kits, comes with the light engine and an external driver and the external driver can be easily located in the position of where the old HID ballast would live. On this side, we have our LED block, and this is our generation three, our third generation. We've been selling these kits for a number of years. This is a super high volume product for us, and we've put a lot of technology into this latest third generation. This kit also comprises of a module, but instead of the LEDs EXT where you have the base bracket assembled to the product, it comes with a separate bracket. I'll talk about how versatile and flexible that is in a moment. And it also comes with an external LED driver. And dimmability is optional on those drivers. So if you're trying to use control systems, either our integrated motion sensors, daylight sensors, or some of the more advanced wireless control options that we have, we can make these kits compatible with those options. If we look at our LED module here, we'll notice that we have a really strong, rigid assembly. This is an extruded aluminum assembly that has a lot of heat sinking to maximize your thermal heat sinking. 
And that's why a lot of these units are over 160 lumens per watt. Super, super high efficiency. We use a really thick metal core aluminum board here. Again, with the idea of getting the heat from the LED down to the heat sink as efficiently as possible. These units do have active cooling, very similar to our light efficient design screw-in lamps. The fans used in these units, you do not have to worry about. They're warranted for 100,000 hours. They're designed in a way that you won't get gunk built up in them or bugs built up in them. And they have a, a magnetic levitating bearing, bearing that means that they're gonna last a long, long time without any worries. So that's the LED module. The bracket is a really, really flexible, versatile design. It comes standard with every unit, and basically what this allows you to do is have one bracket that no matter what your installation is, whether it's a shoebox fixture, whether it's a wall pack, whether it's a high bay, this single bracket is gonna make it easy to install, and you have everything you need in the box in that one kit. You will not need any additional hardware to easily mount this. The bracket can be designed to install, you can configure it to either have a horizontal installation, so that means uh, you know, your bracket would be like this, or a vertical installation like this, depending on how you orient the hardware on this bracket. You'll also notice that there's a number of different screw positions here, so you can make this bracket shorter, you can make it longer, you can uh, flip this 90 degrees. You can angle it, so maybe in a wall pack, you want that light engine just a little bit angled. So it makes it so, so easy to install in basically any style fixture. The way that the bracket installs to the fixture and installs to the module is that first you would take the bracket, you would, you would adjust the bolts on it so that you have the bracket in your correct orientation. You would remove the existing socket from your fixture. You would attach it here to the fixture. And then once it's attached to the fixture and you're happy with its location, we have this really, really ingenious mounting system where you can see on the back of the module, there's a little slide door. And you take this bracket, you just slide it in. And then this comes over here. And there's a set screw, a wing nut included in the kit. And that screws into it. So it's so easy once that bracket is already installed to your fixture to then easily just take this. And you're not like our generation or generation two block having to screw in and tighten a lot of different bolts. All you have is this one wing nut set screw to set in place. It takes about five seconds once you have this little clip on here to swing the wing nut in place. So, so easy. And then all you would do would be to connect your driver output wires to the LED blocks, wires, red and black wires right here. So on the table here, you can see three different models, but we have a lot of different lumen packages. So take a look at the cut sheet, because we have lumen packages to replace as low as 50 watts of HID all the way up to this unit right here, which replaces up to 1,000 watts of HID. And this is around 45,000 lumens at less than 270 watts. So unbelievable efficiencies, lots of different models, lots of different lumen packages, different color temperatures available, just a super, super flexible line of products designed to maximize your rebate and to remove that socket that will require maintenance. Thank you so much for spending time with us today watching this ProClass video. If you have any additional questions, please take a look at our website or ask any of our product managers or salespeople. Thank you.